Oh, how's it hanging, Freedom Partners? Welcome back to episode 7 of Freedom Flash Fridays. Last time we took a look at Lightworks, a free video editing software that can make your videos look just a teeny bit more professional. Nevertheless, be sure to check that out if you haven't, because that will tie into this video. So if you watch this and things look a little confusing, you should go back. Today I'll be showing you how to add transitions in Lightworks, since it's a bit tricky to do the first time, but once you know how to do it, it's easy to do, so don't worry about it. I'll show you the ropes. So let's go! And here we are again, back in Lightworks, and as you can see, our previous project shows up right here, and that's what all these different squares will do. The more projects you have, the more will show up here. We only have the one from last time, which is Bob, so we're gonna take a look at Bob. We're gonna open up Bob here, and you'll see that it's exactly where we left off. So this is how you add transitions, and it's a little weird to do the first time, but you get used to it, and I'm gonna show you all five transitions you can use. So first, you want to go to a spot, let's go here, and we'll just drag this clip over here. So what do we do now? Well, instead of there being a menu here and you drag it over, it's a little inconvenient. You go to your scrubber right here, this big red line that you could never miss even if you were blind, you right click it, and you'll see transitions. It might be closed like that, so you have to click it, it'll open up just like that. And then you have three different options. I'm just going to show you the ad since the length and frames and position are usually pretty straightforward. And these are your five options, and let me show you what each of them does. The first one is Dissolve. All you're gonna do is click it, and you'll see this change. And now when you go and look at your transition, you will see that it will simply add a dissolve. You can change the size of it and all that good stuff. Of course, since it's light works, it won't work as smoothly, but you see it still does the job of adding that transition. The next one is a luma wipe, and you'll click that, and then as you can see, it's sort of just fades into the next one. It's not a dissolve where it'll go transparent, but this one just kind of blends into the other one. I think this one's probably my favorite just because of how cool it looks, but that's up to you to decide. So that is another option. The third is push, and this one's probably simple enough. It's a simple slide where one video will just go to the next one. It's nothing too fancy. It's just a slide. The next is Squeeze, and as you can see, I like to think of this more as a rotation. Think of it as you have a block. It goes from one side of the block to the other side of the block, which is how Premiere describes it. It's a rotation of a block, and that is pretty much it. You just go from one, imagine the, the block rotating, and you get this side of it. Or I guess you can imagine it squeezing and sort of pushing the other one into the other side of the screen, eventually sending it to, into the void where it will never be seen again. And last, you have wipe. And this one is pretty clear. It's just a wipe. It's not a dissolve and it's not a luma wipe, but it's a wipe and it'll just whoop right on over. A clean swipe, making it look nice and clean. Now, as much as I can say I don't enjoy Lightworks, these are pretty solid transitions. My only issue is that there's five of them. I do not have the pro version, which you have to buy. This is the free version, so I do not know if that will unlock any other transitions. I'm sorry if it does, and I do not have it to show you. But assuming that you're using the free version, since this show is meant to show off free versions of programs, I will assume that these will be the only transitions you will be using. There may be an ability to install other plugins, just like it's um, available on Premiere Pro, which is what I use, to add more transitions, but I'm not entirely sure. Just finding out how to do this took me an arm and a leg, so that's also fine. So hopefully this will ease your Lightworks experience just a little bit. 
And then of course you'll do your normal thing once you have all your transitions placed. We'll just put a Luma wipe in there since it just looks so clean. I just love this transition so much. It's so good. You're just gonna right click, go to export, do your YouTube thing, save your video, upload it on YouTube, and then you're set. You have a clean video, clean cuts, which we talked about last time, and now you have transitions in those cuts to make things look just a teeny bit more professional on your end. And there you have it. That is how you add transitions to your video in Lightworks, which will add just a teeny bit more of professionalism to your content. Is there anything you're curious about in Lightworks, whether it be something you can do, something you can't do, if you can even do something? Let me know, and I'll show you in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching Freedom Flash Fridays. My name is Voya, and I will see you all next week.